of a Tallahassee ministry is now in custody, accused of fondling a young man against his will. The man runs a dance ministry connected with Tabernacle Missionary Baptist and Love and Faith Community Church. Our Aaron Lish working on reaction to the story. Aaron, what are you finding out? Well, just looking at these arrest reports, Ben, they are very graphic and really disturbing. They say 38-year-old Curtis Cooper raped an 18-year-old during a church conference after a meeting through Facebook. Authorities saying Cooper paying for the young man to attend, putting him up in a local hotel. That's where to Cooper took advantage of him, grabbing him inappropriately against his will. Cooper is facing sexual battery charges. One Tallahassee pastor gives his take on this type of conduct. What you need to do, particularly those who are in leadership positions, I think they need to be screened, carefully vetted. I think we need to know who we're dealing with when we put them in positions of authority, positions of power. Now, three different ministries, including Reverend Wrights, tell me they conduct background checks with anyone working with kids. We reached out to the churches Cooper is affiliated with, and we have not heard back from them. Julie, Ben. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Dawson from D&D TV. I want to thank everybody for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Look here, y'all. Y'all see the warning signs, so let's go ahead and get into this video. This guy right here is 38-year-old minister out of Tallahassee. His name is Curtis Cooper. Curtis Cooper is married. He does have a wife, and he also has a son. Uh, he's accused of fondling an 18-year-old man during a church conference. Cooper is the president of the community-based dance ministry, which partnered with the Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church as well as Love and Faith Community Church. Police reports show that Cooper forced oral sex on a young man. The allegations are leaving local pastors in the community disappointed. Police report also included details stating that Cooper paid for the young man to come to the conference and also paid for his hotel room as well. Uh, the incident took place at the hotel room when the young man was taking a shower. Cooper went into the bathroom and removed the young man's clothing so he would come out of the bathroom butt naked in order to retrieve his clothing and that's where Cooper made his move. You all, I have been doing videos on things like this with people in the church and even outside of the church who are preying on kids and young adults and even adults as well. People who have um, deviant behavior, deviant sexual behavior that they want to act out on anyone they can get their hands on. And this happened to be an 18 year old man. This stuff has got to stop, especially when it comes to people who have positions in the church. And I keep telling women who listen to my show, people who listen to my show, even fathers, just because somebody is a pastor, just because somebody is a minister, just because somebody is an apostle, just because they're a teacher, a guidance counselor, a social worker, a lawyer, does not mean that they have your child's best interest in mind. And it does not mean that you need to let your children go around them. We all have to start doing our background work on these people that our kids are going around. Now, this young 18 year old man, it is stated that he met Curtis Cooper on Facebook, some social media outlet. I, I, they mentioned Facebook, but it could have been Instagram. You never know. Some social media outlet, they met each other and they started communicating. And based on social media, this young man traveled to that conference and Cooper paid for everything. And during the police investigation, he told the police that he also invited the young man's family and but they decided not to come. But still, they allowed their 18 year old son, who is a drummer, to come to Tallahassee to be a part of this conference. And it is just so sad because a lot of us, we're just, we're just giving our children over to the wolves. We're giving our children over to people who don't care about them. And sometimes we would think in situations like this, this man right here, he's married. He has a wife. He has a son of his own. He's not going to hurt my child. But as I told y'all on one of those last videos I did, and I think it was of the dance teacher, again, another dance teacher in Sanford, Florida, who was arrested for the same situation with an underage girl, these people will have girlfriends. They will have children of their own, but they'll still act out their deviant sexual behavior with somebody else's kids, with somebody else's uh, husband or somebody else's wife. 
And it is so sad because I don't know how his wife, I know his wife is probably hurt, embarrassed by this, but she has to also be sitting down thinking because when I was looking at the police report and some of the things they were stating, and I'm going to put all that in the description box, this guy was charged in 2004 with a similar situation with a child that was 12 years old, a boy that was 12 years old. That was in 2004. He married his wife in 2009. And also in the same situation, you know, he had, well, well, he had another situation in 2014 with two other people who were age apart. I think they both were 19, I think they said 18 or 19, but it was a sexual battery case as well with a boy and a female. So we're constantly dealing with this dude not being able to control his sexual urges, not knowing if he wants to sleep with women, if he wants to sleep with men, or it's like any, with him, even a child, a 12 year old. So it's just like, it's really sad. And I do these stories because I want women to wake up. Women who are in these churches who drag their children to church many times or bring their children to church or who allow their children to go to these after school programs, these youth programs. Y'all got to start being more more aggressive in your background checks. You got to start asking those kids questions. What's going on when you're going there? Who is this person? Why does this person want to spend so much time with my child? Even if the child is 18 or 19. Come on. Some of us, our parents wouldn't let us go nowhere like this at 18. They'd be asking all kinds of questions. Who is this dude? Why is he paying for you to come? Why is he paying for the hotel? What is this? But I'm sure and it, I, I don't think anybody should go off of this, but I'm sure those parents were thinking this dude was married. He had a wife. He had a kid. So obviously he ain't going to show no interest in my kid. But we can't go by that these days. These people could be married. They could have a bunch of kids and still try to act out sexually with your children or with you. We can't trust that, y'all. And in this situation here. Curtis is on Facebook. I saw his Facebook and he was so loved up with his wife and hugging his wife on certain situations. But it's like at this point, his wife, Daniela, I think that's her name, Danielle, Daniela. What are you thinking now? Does this dude want to be with men? Does he want to be with women? Does he want to be with you? This is not the first time this has happened. He has a history of things like this happening. And your silence in the relationship is your consent for him to continue to do stuff like this. Now, there the churches that he's affiliated with and even the dance ministry, they release statements to the local news in Tallahassee. Uh, and I'll put that at the bottom, too, in the description. The WCTV Eyewitness News, they release statements to them stating uh, basically, and I'm paraphrasing that they didn't know, you know, Curtis Cooper had this type of behavior. They didn't do any checks in the past to see and that they felt sorry for the victim. And this was not something they expected of Curtis Cooper. But let me tell you all something. When you don't do your investigation work, Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church, as well as his dance ministry, that's where you mess up at. Because these, the thing that happened in 2014 and also that happened with him in 2004, that stuff is documented. So you all didn't do a thorough background check on this dude. And it's sad because our kids are going around these people, y'all. That's the only point I'm trying. We don't know who these people are. And don't think because they got a wife or a husband that they're, they're, they're going to be okay. That don't mean nothing these days. That don't mean nothing. People will marry you and still go act out their deviant behavior with somebody else. They'll marry you and use you as a beard and still go sleep with men. And that's exactly what he's doing. You're sitting in the hotel room forcing an oral, uh, forcing yourself down on an 18 year old boy's penis. That and you got a wife at home, man. How you think that lady feel right now? And I know people was on his Facebook saying, oh, you know, the devil is a busy and the devil doing this and all this kind of stuff. Look, some things we do. I know sometimes the other outside. Oh, well, you know, this look, we got to start making excuses. Come on, man. If you didn't want to marry a woman, you shouldn't have married a woman. Don't marry these females lying to them. If you know you really want to be gay or if you really want to cheat around with a bunch of other women, if you want to whore around. Why, why y'all like I don't get that. I don't get that. Why are you marrying people and you really don't? Who is forcing y'all to marry people? 
That's what I don't understand. I told y'all one of my homeboys. He, I was get he. I think he upset with me because I told him that he shouldn't be messing with this girl because he cheats a lot. You cheat with other girls. You, you're a whore. That's what I told him. That's what I tell my friends. I tell them the truth. They don't get by with me. Tell them, no, man, you're a whore. You're a whore. You're a whore. You're a whore. Come on, bro. Why you gonna cheat? Why you gonna tell this girl all this stuff and have her thinking y'all gonna get married, knowing you're a whore? And that's the same thing in any relationship. Or any situation that we should be real with our friends. Oh, well, you know, everybody cheat, everybody cheat. Now, when this person comes shoot your ass and it's another fatal attraction episode and we're going to be right there in the, in the uh, confessional saying, well, you know, we told them not to do it, man. But he said he, he just going to do it. He was a hoe and he wanted the church to know. It's real out here, y'all. And we got people out here who are married, who take marriage as a game. Who takes standing in front of the pastor, your mama, your daddy, they mama, they daddy, they friends, your friends, they family, your family, and God? As a game? You did all that for a game? Through sickness and health to death do us part? That was a game? Yeah, I know stuff come up in a marriage, but some of us, we just get, it's like marriage is just like changing shoes now. Why did you get married to cheat? Why did you get married knowing that you're probably not attracted to women all the way, bro? And maybe she know that. Maybe that's something y'all went in the relationship with and you told her you were struggling with some things. And you know how these women in the church, they'll help you with a struggle. But what happens when that struggle has you in the hospital room next to this nigga and the doctor telling y'all y'all have something? Don't tell me that mess don't happen. It happened to one of my good friends and she was with her husband all the way till he died. And he gone and she still got to live with what he gave her. Don't tell me that mess don't happen when I'm a social worker. And I see the effects of this mess all the time because people just can't be real with they self. It's your boy Dawson. I'm off of this subject, man. Look here. Y'all protect yourself. Really, honestly, don't trust nobody. Don't trust the damn people at the church. Don't trust the people at the school. You had your kids. You take care of your kids. And if they daddy gone, let that nigga go raise your kids. Don't trust the big brother. Don't trust none of them. And if they around your kids, make sure you give your kids a cell phone so they can text you or call you wherever they at. Oh, we're at after school practice right now. Oh, if they on any type of church function, give them a cell phone or a tablet so they can you can keep tabs on what they're doing when they're out there. Because these people are so deviant. And you don't know who it's going to be. It could be family members. It could be friends. And it's sad. It's real sad. And people on this Facebook can just trip me out how the saints be doing. Oh, you know, this is just the devil because he's so talented and he got he got the anointing and the devil just. Started. You know, I that could be true. But at the same time, what about the victim? What about the 18 year old drummer who came to the conference thinking he was just coming to see this really popular group in Tallahassee dance and possibly get a pants chance to play the drums? What about him when he have this grown 38 year old man trying to suck his dick? What y'all going to say to him? How he going to grow up and want to go get a wife and explain that to his wife? This is the stuff y'all like to hide and don't want to talk about, but somebody got to talk about it. We'll never talk about when boys get molested and when they get messed over. And then they go marry your daughter and they go marry you. And y'all don't never want to talk about stuff until it comes out to situations like this. Y'all, it's Dawson. I'm out of here. I'm going to keep saying stuff like this and keep talking about all this stuff. And I got another uh, story I got to do on another pastor coming out of Tallahassee as well. This stuff is sick. It's twisted. Women, before y'all get with these niggas, do your background check. Before y'all get with these dudes, same thing with men. Do your background check before you just marrying people and sleeping with them, having them around your kids. I'm out of here, y'all. Take care of yourself and each other.